The Maine College of Art, in collaboration with Creative Portland and the Quimby Foundation, is launching a professional development series designed to give professional artists the tools they need to succeed in the business of art. Tom talked with program director Jessica Tomlinson and artist Edvige Charlot about the skills the new program will offer. Edwish, Jessica, thanks for joining us. Uh, a lot of exciting things are happening at Mecca, and there's a new series for artists coming up um, that is in a collaboration with other organizations, including Artists at Work, which is something at Mecca that people may not know about. So before we get into the see or talk about the series, mm -hmm. Jessica, do you want to talk a little bit about what Artists at Work is? Absolutely, Tom. Thank you. Artists at Work is a new initiative at Maine College of Art to provide our students and our alums with the critical skills, opportunities, and experiences they need to be creative professionals in the world. And so we're offering them a professional development workshop series uh, starting in October, which is what we're here to talk about today. So Great, yeah. You. And I understand that's also a collaboration with Creative Portland mm -hmm. and Maine lawyers? Maine volunteer lawyers for the arts. We're very grateful for the Quimby Family Foundation for providing critical support to allow this collaboration to happen starting in October. And we you uh, have a special vantage point because not only are you a faculty member but you're also an alum of well, right? faculty is a little misleading. Mm -hmm. I'm um, an artist in residence in the mm -hmm. printmaking department at Mecca and I have done some assistant teaching at Mecca but like you mentioned, I am an alum, so this is an especially um, great sort of initiative that um, the Maine College of Art has taken on is to continue the work that we've started as students to give us the skills to think about, you know, all the parts of being an artist, you know, how to manage your taxes, how to promote your work, you know, and even getting legal advice on protecting, um, you know, our artworks, you know, to think about intellectual property as being something to think about. Somebody who isn't a working artist wouldn't know the kind of issues that artists mm -hmm. face when they get out mm -hmm. there. So it's kind of a little surprising for me anyway to hear that lawyers are involved, which sounds like a great idea. What was the impetus, what was the need that, was, that you saw that this, this series is hopefully addressing? Oh, sure. There's a critical need for this information. So often the educational experience focuses on the studio skills, which are, of course, the core critical skills that you need. And then people say, I didn't learn how to make a living as an artist. And so we hear from our alums and we hear from people in the community, quite honestly, not Mecca graduates, but other people who are here. They need those critical skills to understand how to take their artwork to the next level, to how to understand themselves as a business. And so that's why it's a great partnership with business people, with lawyers, with accountants and artists mm -hmm. to help provide that next step in the education of an artist. I, I suppose that it, this is open to any artist, not just alum of Mecca. Is that true? Is, Absolutely, that? and that's what's um, one of the best parts about this program is that it gives Mecca alums and current students an opportunity to network mm -hmm. with other artists who are in the area. Um, I mean, as a marketing and networking event, it's, it's really, really great, and they'll be happening every second Wednesday mm -hmm. of every month. So. And the first one's coming right up in October. October 10th? Yes, yeah. and so they're 6 to 9. They're free for Mecca faculty, staff, students, and alumni, and it's $10 for others. The first one is grant writing for artists. Mm -hmm. The next one is pricing your artwork. And the third, uh, come holiday time, is doing your taxes as an artist. So those are the first three. So how's the response been? I mean, how many people have you had to sign up for it so far? So the way that it worked, we actually did a poll to um, of the community. We had over 200 people respond to our poll about what kind of professional development programming they wanted to see. So we're really thrilled that we're actually tailoring our programming to meet the community need. Yeah, that's great. So you know that those 200 people that responded to the survey obviously are interested in mm -hmm. seeing this sort of thing. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a lot of people signed up for the first event already, you think? Yes, there's a lot of interest. It's a, a critical issue. Grant writing for artists is, again, a skill that's not necessarily taught in art school, and it's about making sure that you have the right uh, portfolio put together to make your grant application appealing to the jury. Wow. There's a lot of things involved with that, too, because sometimes you need to have a 501c3 or an organization back you up with that sort of thing. So uh, that's a great way to get started with it. There's so much information that probably people want to know about this mm -hmm. series. Is there a, a phone number or a website or both that people can go to to get more information? 
Yes, um, because this is an initiative that is spearheaded by Creative Portland, the website is portlandarts.org. Again, that's portlandarts.org. And there's information about the series and how to sign up in advance. And the name of the series that people would look for on that site sure, is? Sure, it's the Professional Development Workshop Series for Artists. Okay, Edwige, Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.